Hello dear students, my name is Vikram Malade, I am an assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering, I am working at SAT QI, Yadra Ushikandji. Today I uh, will discuss about the basic components of automobile engineering. In previous lecture, we have uh, covered uh, frames, suspension systems, wheels and axles. In today's lecture, we will cover next part of uh, components. So, uh, in the content, we will discuss about objectives of today's lecture and uh, components of an automobile. So, uh, today's objective is to know and uh, study various components of an automobile. So we'll discuss what part we have covered in previous lecture. Uh, we have covered the classifications of uh, automobiles and uh, some of the basic components of an automobile like chain suspension system, wheels, axles and power plant. Power plant uh, where total energy is developed inside an engine. So uh, we will start today's lecture from the transmission system. The, uh, this picture represents the various components of transmission system. What exactly is the transmission system? Uh, it is a speed and uh, soft changing device actually between the engine and uh, driving wheel. It serves the following purposes in the transmission system of an automobile like the functions are uh, to disconnect the engine from the road wheels when they travel. Let's uh, discuss uh, first of all the various parts of transmission system. Uh, it consists of a plus gearbox that is transmission system uh, which includes also a popular shop and differential gearbox. So in this picture this is the uh, general diagram, schematic diagram of an uh, automobile power transmission system in which what changes observe that this is the power plant, power source that is the engine. Along with the engine, clutch is connected with the engine via this crankshaft. Whatever the total energy uh, is developed inside the engine that is transmitted with the of so the crankshaft to the other parts of an automobile. So that the uh, clutch is connected with this transmission system. This is the important uh, part. And then after uh, this is the uh, differential gearbox which is connected with the transmission system with the help of this propeller shaft and uh, this is connected with the help of the university drive. And from this engine with the help of this transmission system energy is transmitted to the central gearbox and which helps in rotation of this mo moment of this wheel on this rear axle. Generally this is uh, rear drive axle uh, in this system. So we were talking about the function. So uh, it disconnects the engine from the road wheel when it is desired. So uh, here to connect and disconnect here is the plus system. With the help of plus we connect and disconnect this engine system, engine power system with other parts of an automobile. Second function to connect the engine to the driving wheel without stop. This is most important uh, uh, function of the transmission system to avoid different types of vibration. And then uh, third function is to very leverage between the engine and driving wheel to control its acceleration 
out in the sense of this T. Uh, fourth function to reduce engine speed permanently in a fixed vehicle. So uh, all these uh, points are controlled by the gear system gearbox that is the part of the transmission system. Then uh, fifth function is to turn drive to a right angle. The moment of the vehicle in uh, any direction is controlled by the transmission system. And next function is to make provision for flattening of uh, road things which causes a relative motion between engine and having wheel. So these are some of the uh, functions of the transmission system. Uh, major content of transmission system, each part will be discussed one by one in coming chapters. So uh, next slide uh, describes about the entire system. So uh, you just observe this is the rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive in the sense rear dexter is consisting consisted by the differential gearbox. This is the longitudinal engine here. This is the uh, clutch plate and this is the gearbox in the terms of the transmission system which is connected with this differential gearbox with the help of this propeller shaft. Here it is uh, represented mentioned in the terms of drive shaft, this is propeller shaft and this is these are the universal joints. How uh, the power is transmitted from engine via transmission system to the differential gearbox and to the rear wheel on the rear axle. So this is the rear wheel drive. Uh, in second picture, front wheel drive is uh, represented. What is the difference between uh, rear wheel and front wheel drive? In front wheel drive engine along with this differential gearbox and all the accessories of plus transmission system this is on the front wheel drive so here differential is uh, on the rear wheel drive in the uh, this case and here differential gearbox is on the front axle that's why it is called front wheel drive this was the general information about uh, the transmission system then next we will discuss the uh, various components of uh, transmission system let's uh, discuss about the uh, clutch The general purpose of the uh, clutch is to enable the uh, driver to disconnect the drive from road wheels instantaneously and to engage drive from engine to road wheels gradually while moving the vehicle from rest. Uh, this is the uh, picture of uh, the clutch. Generally it is a mechanism by means of uh, which engine is connected or disconnected from the rest of the transmission system. As from the previous uh, diagram, we have discussed that this is the clutch system which engages and disengages the engine system with the transmission system. Then uh, next is the uh, gearbox. That transmission system is represented in this picture. Number of gears are uh, connected with each other. Uh, it provides the necessary leverage variation between the engine and road wheel generally to, uh, uh, to vary the speeds of the system. Then next is uh, bevel, pinion and crown wheel. This portion. So uh, they turn uh, the drive to 90 degrees and also provide the permanent reduction in speed. It 
be compared with the differential gearbox. Now, next uh, slide describes about the differential and propeller shaft. So, uh, let's uh, talk about the uh, differential first. Uh, that uh, when the car is taking, if I give one example, when the car is taking a turn, then outer wheel will have to travel greater distance as compared to the inner wheel in the same time. If uh, therefore the car has a solid rear axle uh, only and no other device, there will be tendency for the wheel to skid. Hence, uh, if the wheel skidding is to be avoided, some mechanism must be incorporated in the rear axle. Which should be, uh, which should uh, reduce the speed of inner wheels and uh, increase the speed of the outer wheels when taking turns. It should be at same time keep the uh, speeds of all the wheels same when uh, going straight ahead. Such a device uh, which serves the above functions is called a uh, differential. So, especially as it is mentioned that uh, while taking turns, the driving wheels must must turn. At a different speed, this is done with the help of the differential, as it is discussed or shown in this diagram. This is the differential to give a proper turn to the wheel. Then uh, next is the propeller shaft. From previous diagram, I will show this uh, is the propeller shaft, which is connected with the differential and uh, transmission system with the help of the universal gun. So similarly in this uh, it is shown propeller shaft is connected with the help of universal gun. Uh, it provides for the relative motion between engine and uh, driving wheel due to flexing of road springs. So uh, if we talk about the uh, universal joint it is the joint which enables the drive shaft to transmit power at the varied angles. The transmission which is concerned with the driving axle by means of a drive axle is at higher level than the drive axle. Uh, in next slide, it represents general components of an automobile which we have already discussed and which are to be discussed. So, uh, this is the engine which is the uh, which is also called the power plant then uh, here it is the battery to give electrical energy uh, here this is the uh, transmission system connected with the engine this is the uh, front axle and then how it is connected with the uh, uh, other parts like the uh, catalytic converter muffler exhaust pipe and then uh, brake system is here. This is the fuel tank, shock absorber. Generally, uh, we have covered some major components of an automobile. In remaining parts, we will cover in the next video. So, let's uh, discuss about the remaining parts of an automobile, the auxiliaries. Uh, in auxiliaries, uh, all electrical systems like supply system, battery and generator, uh, starter, sorry. Uh, it written started with starter then ignition system in ancillary uh, devices with some of the uh, driving lights like the uh, headlight tail light all of the lights then signaling in signaling horn direction indicators and brake lights in other lights interior roof lights panel lights reverse lights etc uh, then in miscellaneous uh, some of the electrical system uh, consists of uh, radio, heater, fans, electric fuel pump, electric windscreen, wipers. And the control system uh, we will discuss that consists of uh, steering system and brakes. Steering system is uh, uh, employed to give the proper direction to the uh, vehicle or an automobile and brakes are to stop the motion. Uh, the superstructure uh, generally uh, the body is attached to the frame uh, while in the case of frameless construction the body uh, performs the function of both 